Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and I wanted to revisit a piracy topic today, one specifically because I get a lot of questions like, hey, what's the best piracy ship? And while I've answered that a few times, the point I want to discuss and try and get across today is why you should never plan on pirating alone. Now this game isn't going to be like Elite Dangerous, where you can just open up your cargo hatch and scoop up what people have ejected from their cargo holds in a convenient manner, at least not from what I've seen. It's going to take a lot more effort in Star Citizen. Now you might be able to get someone to unload their cargo ship and then leave, um, so you can then try and collect the goods, but even then, it's kind of a bad idea. So why is it bad to pirate solo? Well, first off, let's go ahead and use that example I was just discussing. Um, you know, If you have a higher skill level and you're able to get compliance and actually convince them to drop their cargo and leave, you still have to get into your ship. Now if you're alone, you're exiting your ship, EVAing to the cargo and pulling it into your ship. In the best situation, you maneuver close to the goods and have a tractor beam to start pulling them into the ship. But what happens if they return, or the advocacy shows up, or they used a beacon to request help and reinforcements end up arriving? Well, you're in the back of the ship, and while we'll be getting some sort of emergency animations coming that should help with the speed of getting in and out of cockpit seats faster, do you think you're going to be able to do that fast enough to be ready for ships that have jumped in and are ready to go in a fight? Probably not. Now, in a different situation, some pirates may want to maximize their profits by stealing the ship of a person you're going to loot. Well, unless you're planning on leaving yours behind, because this one is a direct upgrade from what you have, then you're unable to take that ship as well. Now, even if you can steal the enemy's ship, you're still leaving yours behind, which is money and time that you've spent investing in upgrades left behind as well. And if you're committing a crime, you leave your ship behind and someone steals it, will insurance cover it? I mean, probably, but there may be other factors and caveats that we need to consider that are tied to criminality that we don't really know about yet. Now, one of the biggest things to consider about piracy is that in order to get compliance, or really disablement even, you need to get the enemies to stand down or win via combat. Now, in order to get to that point, you need a superior force. And if you're flying solo, you're very reliant on the ship that you're in and the skill that you want to get what you want out of that interaction. But if it's cargo that you're after, then that limits what ship you can bring to accomplish this. You know, like a Sabre or a Buccaneer, for example, doesn't carry any cargo, so those are going to be kind of out. But a Hornet F7C with the cargo pod or the Avenger Titan, those are a few examples of some ships that could potentially do it. Um, but then you still run into the situation like I mentioned before. In you know, really, I guess in all reality, you really need ships or want ships that are large enough for multiple people or in the best situations, more ships, allowing you to board the enemy ship and still have someone staying mobile on the outside that's able to engage the ship if it starts to leave or deal with any help that jumps into the area. Two is even probably a bad number when it comes to piracy because it limits what targets you can attack, but it's always better than just one. For example, if you're going after something like a Constellation, which you know can have four to five people on board, um, if you have to get into that ship to get what you want, then you're dealing with a larger force on the inside. So even then, it's an uphill battle to win. The short version of all this is um, you need to either be bigger, stronger, and faster, or you have to be pretty damn smart and patient. If you're outnumbered, you might be able to continue threats and then acting upon them to get what you want. For example, disable a ship, ask for cargo to be open, or um, you know, for them to push out the cargo to the exterior of the ship. If they don't, you knock out their life support, and if they still don't cooperate, maybe then you crack their canopy, You know, something along those lines. That's a lot of talk, a lot of time, and a lot of willingness to take those steps, and a lot of that can be avoided by coming with more people than your target and being better prepared from the beginning. So I'm not trying to say that piracy solo is impossible, but it's certainly not advisable and it's far from the best situation. So let me know if you guys have questions on this, but hopefully it helps those of you with the, you know, some unlawful aspirations to start to plan ahead a little bit and think through some of the engagements that you might have in a little bit more detail. Um, if you have questions or thoughts on this, get them into the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more soon. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.